Well, my name is Laura Caldwell, and I'm from uh, Schoolgirl Island First Nation, which is in Port Perry. Um, I currently, well, I'm newly elected uh, council counselor for Schoolgirl. I think I should come and do an interview because it's not what I do know; it's what I don't know, and that is because. Um, as a result of being a 60s scoop baby. So I was taken away and um, I was raised by my mother and father who are non-indigenous. Um, they, uh, I'm gonna cry because they're both gone, but anyway, um, they were great to me. And I used to feel guilty about that because I know there's um, so many, um, that weren't that fortunate. And my, and my adoptive parents um, always tried to, um, you know, they always let me know I was Native and tried to, but they didn't know anything about that, you know, because they were, they, they just didn't know anything about the Native culture or anything like that. But they did try to implement things, and now that I think back over it, and I got a giggle to myself because some of it was ridiculous, but anyways, uh, they tried. Actually, one of my biological siblings is, is an elder, so I think to myself, you know, uh, like I don't know any, uh, you know what I mean, I, I shouldn't say I don't know any of it, but I'm learning, right? Every day I try and learn something about the, about the culture, and I'm a counselor, you know what I mean? So being a counselor is more being political, but you also, you know, like for the culture and, and like the language, I don't know the language. Um, our groups are very, very small, and um, we only have one fluent speaker left, and that's it. And she happens to be my biological mother. I remember um, sitting at the, uh, uh, the Children's Aid Society apology, and um, I was there, and I, I there was another man who um, got up and spoke and, he's, and he said, you know, I have to apologize to you all because um, I, was, I don't know what the language because, you know, I was taken away and I don't, you know, and I was like, it was so heart-wrenching because hearing all these other people from the 60s scoop and whatnot um, speak to, to it, right, and it's, it's so emotional and powerful, it's, you know, I used to think you read about it and, you know, you hear people talk about it, but until you actually hear, like, families and people that it's, you know, that it's happened to, it's, you know, I can't even, like, express the, the, how powerful it is. Like I said, even though <clears throat> I was very fortunate, I had a you know, the best mama anybody could ever ask for, right? And I miss her dearly. Um, and my dad, well, you know, dad's always like, <laughs> no, I love my dad. <laughs> and they're my mom and dad, you know what I mean? And I have brothers, right? And that's, I will always refer to them to that. And I refer to, even though they're biological, that's, like I said, I'm, I'll call them by biological family, do you know what I mean?